What is up everybody, this is the Wardface, and today we are back kicking off episode 3 of The Wolf Among Us. This game has been absolutely insane. Uh, I just actually finished recording episode 2, and the cliffhangers at the end of every single one of these episodes are so crazy that I just had to keep going. Uh, this one's called A Crooked Mile, it shows us chasing after a car or a taxi. No, I'm pretty sure that's just a car. Um... I don't know, just, I'm, I'm so excited for this one. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, you should probably turn the video off now because I'm going to talk about some spoilers and stuff. Um, so pretty much where we are leading up to this, we thought Snow died. It turns out she didn't die. It was a troll and glamour. And then right at the end of episode two, we pretty much found out that it was Crane who was most likely behind the murders, which is insane. I was not expecting Crane at all. I... That was probably the last person I was thinking. Uh, so that kind of eliminates the the woodsman, uh, eliminates the pimp in a way. Who knows? He could still be kind of connected. I don't know. It's still kind of confusing, kind of strange. We'll have to see uh, where this one takes us. So obviously we're going to have to confront Crane. Uh, see what the hell was going on there. Because I guess just because he was kind of being creep creepily obsessed with snow, it doesn't 100% make it that he did it, but, I mean, obviously, I think obviously he did do it, but... Our stories used we're gonna to be have so to, simple. We had we're gonna a have to prove it, I think. A middle and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and- I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The Little Mermaid, which is kind of sadly the depressing. Open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. That's so it's so incredibly creepy. Oh my god, I just want to go like bash Crane right now. Okay, so we're starting literally exactly where we left off. Bigby does not seem happy. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Not now. I have a right to know. If my You'd... wife is... Oh, my honey. God. Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Well, oh, someone, crap. Snow might be in danger. To me. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks Why about are you the funeral at the, trip at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Wait. Wait for what? What? Snow's... <sighs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What do you what mean? What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I think we've played it okay to this point. We've tried to be re relatively reasonable. Oh my god. This game. The Buckingham Bridge. So we're just hanging out under a bridge? Is 
Is this the funeral? I'm Anne. Honored to be asked to speak to you. Even it's tradition that everyone speak. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. No, we probably People shouldn't interrupt it. People she trusted and cared for. At least we know she's safe right now. It's I not going to make um, that much of a difference. I offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will in time equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about I'll miss worrying about you. So I'll miss our fights. Your I'll miss you. Her. How she Holly. could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. Just look through this. Now she can never die for from the old indifference ways, or lead a tedious for, life. Um, Goodbye, pageantry. sweetheart. And Thanks most for of all, everything. it seems Vivian. how Lily loved Dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around. You were around a big, bright, and shining star in this shithole of Lily, a town, from and I miss you already, Gran. You know in my heart Great words, Gran. She would have liked to be here tonight. There's nothing and we can like we'll add to the table. Moment of silence. Thank you. Okay, it looks like snow is wrapping up. We're not going to interrupt the moment of silence. Can we just like walk up there? Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? What do you mean? After you lie? After you promise me? What are you talking about? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Oh, I'm they didn't you the keep truth. her body. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one uh, yeah. isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. Oh, I don't give a fuck be mad. about the way. I don't care about procedure. I'm I can't not, talk about it. We're not certain yet. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Yeah, that was oh, kind of a bad off. move. Don't backpedal now. I don't care if you're not certain yet. Just say what you know. Oh. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just going to sit here Please, and... I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, Yeah, I probably I know shouldn't have brought that up. No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Yeah, that was probably not the best decision to just kind of bring up. I'm glad Gren is almost on our side. Or not almost on our side, okay, but agreed on us. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Pigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. 
Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought, uh, I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because oh. please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, yeah, I don't want to like straight up to show the her the picture. Office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. Take your time. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. At least she's here, so we know that we don't have to, like, worry about them. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Oh, I wonder if we could have kind of like... Kind of told her about it and then she could tell them indirectly. So we're not just like coming straight out and being like, Crane did it. Oh, wait, 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 easy now, kidding girl. Me? You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, that way, what are you doing it's here? Proper. Oh, it's what both are you of them. Doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you Why? leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Uh... Settle down. No deals. Settle down now. I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. What is happening behind us? What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You They're fucking worried. freaks are not getting away with this. I'll handle Please this. Let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead horse. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Are you kidding me? What is going on here? I got it done. Let that guy rip apart uh, D. I don't care. Oh crap. Are we What is Oh my god. Seriously, what have we done? What ha what is going on here?
this game. It's like literally every intro in every end has to be some insane either cliffhanger or like some start. What is- oh, why does this game always have to do this? <laughs> oh, this is so good. It's- it's amazing. Um, so I don't think- and hopefully none of those people are dead. I don't think Fables just die like that. If you remember, uh, Woody kind of took an axe to the head in the first one and seemed to walk out of that. Okay, so hopefully they're not dead and, um, I guess we'll just figure out what happens in the next one. This is all kind of going crazy. For whatever reason, I'm guessing Crane tipped off Tweedledee and Tweedledum because he saw us in the mirror. Um, episode 3, A Crooked Mile. And uh, that is actually where we are going to end this one. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. This game has been so insane so far. It's kind of sad that it's already like, it's almost halfway through. I've already made it through halfway of this game. Um, which is kind of sad because I, I just want this to keep going and going. I don't want this to end. Uh, but I'm going to end this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, have a nice night. Goodbye.